Hey guys, this is Dylan from Jingo Inc. And I just wanted to make a quick video talking about what we believe here at Jingo Inc. to be the best characteristics of an everyday carry flashlight. Now carrying a flashlight's a big deal. Um, so definitely you wanna be able to see what you're looking at and you wanna have uh, an idea on what you're looking at before you have to engage in something or anything like that. Having light is really good. If you carry a gun but not a light, you just have a <clears throat> daytime gun, right? It's not good during the night. So let's get into a couple characteristics. So first and foremost, what we're talking about when it comes to characteristics of a good of a good flashlight is a flashlight that could be used with your firearm, okay? During a stressful situation to where you need that flashlight to see a threat, see someone like that, you, it needs to be optimized for your body under physical stress, okay? So first and foremost, what we recommend is a quality, reliable flashlight. First and foremost, that's going to be a pattern with all of these videos. Everything that we recommend is something that we could stand behind, something that we believe in, okay? Something that's optimized for what we feel is the way, okay? So it needs to be quality, it needs to be reputable, it needs to be reliable, it needs to turn on every single time no matter what. And I can give you a giant list of companies that have that reputable kind of notoriety, but... Um, that's a whole nother video. So really do your research and figure out what you need to do in order to figure out the company. Okay. There's a lot of forums and stuff like that. Second is it needs to be small and it needs to be easy to carry. Okay. You do not want to talk yourself out of not carrying this and having a big bulky thing that fills your entire pocket up is going to allure you to keep that on your nightstand and leave without it. So you want it to be nice and small and easy to carry. So this one right here, it barely fits in the palm of my hand. That's a really nice small, small carry flashlight, okay? Make sure that it's small enough to where you can't talk yourself out of not carrying it. Third, it has to be a minimum of 300 lumens. 300 lumens, the scientists, people a lot smarter than me have discovered that 300 lumens is right at that temporary blinding mark. So you want 300 and up. Anything less than that, you're not going to get that temporary blindness if you hit someone in the face with it, right? Not actually physically, but if you bright them in the face with it, you want that temporary blindness, that stun to get away or to make a move, okay? So minimum 300 lumens. If it's lower than that, I'm not carrying it. Another thing at Jingo Inc., and I know a lot of people have opinions, but it's all, you know, it's all, it's your opinion. We have our opinion. Fair enough. Um, is it needs to, the, the button on the back, the tail cap, it needs to be a momentary on only, single mode only, okay? And what I mean by that is it has no click. I don't want to click. No matter how hard I press on this flashlight, it is going to be just on, and it's, it's like a pressure pad. As soon as I let go, it's off. It doesn't click, okay? When you're under stress, that button could be 100 pounds of resistance before the click, and you're still going to hit that click because you get that caveman strength, you know, you get that gorilla strength when you're under stress, you don't know how to finesse. You lose that finesse, you lose that dexterity. So I wanna be able, if I want it off, I want it to be off, not accidental if I click it on, something like that. In single mode, every single time I press this button, I want it to be the same lumens each and every time, okay? This is 415 lumens, by the way. Um, so a single mode, I know there's a lot of flashlights to wear. If I do it once, it does 400. If I do it again, it does 200 and then 50 and then it cycles back through. I don't want that. I want one mode, everything like that. Now this flashlight does have a cool feature to where if you twist this bezel cap, it will stay on for me. If I do want to do some working on something, if I'm working on my truck or anything like that. So it does have that option. But when it comes to, if I get stressed out and stuff like that, and I'm losing all that physical dexterity and stuff, I'm not going to get hung up on that and it's a single mode, I don't have to worry about it. Then we're gonna start getting a little bit more into details, stuff that's more minutia, but things that kind of just help us out. Now, if you think about it, there's two different ways to carry it in your pocket. There's bezel up and bezel down. We recommend bezel up for a couple different reasons. Bezel up, as you can see, I have that pocket clip facing the way to where my, this is my pocket, the, that bezel is gonna be up in my pocket. Now for, I'm going to back up, hopefully I can get you, get the sight good. When we reload our magazine, when we reload our guns to get our magazine, we come up and we grab it like this. And then we bring it up and insert it into the gun and get back onto it. Now with a flashlight like this, we could do the same movement except just down in your pocket. You come down, you pick up the flashlight, bring it to your gun, but you just bring it up more. And now all of a sudden you have that flashlight ready to go, okay? So it's the same kind of draw stroke for a magazine 
and a flashlight, we want to make that one solution for many problems, as we say. Another benefit to it is now, because we have this lanyard, which the lanyard is the sixth thing that we look for. It has to have some kind of way, some kind of lanyard on it, okay? That's something that's really big for us. And the big reason why is because we could bring this lanyard around and hook it onto the bezel like such. And at that point, I can hold that light and I can let go, and that way I don't drop my light, okay? The reason why we do bezel up again with this clip is because I could take this paracord and I could clip it down on this clip and now I have a loop. And so now I have even more security when I put it around my hand like this. Now, if I'm using my gun, right? Using the gun, stuff like that. If I need to reload, I can let go and have open hands and I could still get a hold of my mag. I could reload my gun. I could tap rack. I need, can do whatever I need to do. And I'm not fumbling around. I'm not having to put my flashlight away. I'm not having to hold on to my flashlight without risking of dropping it or anything like that. So that's another reason why we recommend bezel up, okay? And of course, have a lanyard loop to put lanyard on. This is just basic paracord, nothing fancy. And we don't carry paracord for survival reasons. It's just because it's a sturdy, very affordable, very readily available thing. Um, if you guys do have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, feel free to get a hold of us anytime at info at jingoink.com. Um, we're always putting classes up for pistol, rifle, shotgun, force on force is coming up. And we also have medical classes coming up as well. Um, so if you want any training like that, feel free to go to jingoink.com. And uh, always remember, a society is only as good as their amount of lethality under voluntary control. See ya.